In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on The Amazing Spider-Man came to the year 2012. Basically, a plot about it. It's, it happened when Peter Parker was little, and he had to be able to stay with his uncle and his aunt, which he went to a, say he went to a, like a, a, some kind of scientist project, I'm not sure, and there's a radioactive sp spider got on him, and it bit him, and he had some sense to be, had some powers to be Spider-Man, and he decides, he just solves us, and there was a scene that Uncle Ben died, I don't know what killed Uncle Ben, comment below what killed him, I saw a scene that, I don't remember, I remember, in the first version, he got shot, but I don't know what I don't remember who had killed Uncle Ben. Comment below what it what killed him. <laughs> well, what I think I'm gonna be telling you guys. What do I think about this movie? It's a it's an okay movie. It's not the it's not the best Spider-Man movie I have ever seen in my life. The best Spider-Man movie they ever made was Spider-Man Homecoming. That was the best Spider-Man I have ever seen. This Spider-Man isn't played by Tobey Maguire. This is or even Tom Holland's. This isn't played by Tom Holland's or Tobey Maguire. This is played by Andrew Garfield. Yep. What do you think about Andrew Garfield Spider-Man? I think he did an okayish job on his job. It's not. I think there was supposed to be a fourth Spider Man, but it, it unfortunately got scrapped and cancelled. And they decided to reboot it. Give it a reboot. And some people did not like this movie, but I kind of think this movie was good, but it's not. The greatest movie I've ever seen. It's not the best. It's pretty weak. This Spider-Man movie is so weak. I forgot about it. This movie is so weak. And it's not terrible. It's just the weakest Spider. This is the weakest Spider-Man. It's a good. It's okay, but it's pretty weak. I. This is the weakest Spider-Man. It's. Spider-Man was has to fight the lizard, and yeah. Yeah, but uh, which I think Stacy Gwen Stacy was was Spider-Man's girlfriend. In it, sorry, um, Gwen Stacy was a great character. So, Everyone was great. Yeah. The only thing I did not like about this movie that Gwen, I think it was Gwen Stacy's dad's death. I did not like that scene. I was like, please don't die. I didn't like that scene. That was my, and the lizard was a good villain. I forgot who, what was his real name it is. Coming. This movie was was kind of weak, in my opinion. It's not a bad score. I won't, I won't give this a bad score. Well, it's not a rat, guys. It's a reveal. Yeah. Yeah, but... You know, I think the suit... Yeah. The suit looks... Meh. The suit does look meh. It's not terrible. It's just meh. But... Toby McGuire... The newer ones... At least... Tom Holland's Spider-Man was much better. Tom Holland's. When I first saw Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Not Tom. It, that movie beat the shit out of this movie. Yeah, I did say it. Tom Holland, this homecoming beat the shit out of Amazing Spider-Man. It did beat, it beat the shit out of them. It beat the shit out of this movie. Yeah. This movie was okay, and I, it's like the worst movie I've ever seen in my life, and, oh, 
I might give this movie it everyone had different actors in this show in this movie. I give overall guys, I give this movie a seven out of ten. What? I did give this movie when I first watched it, I kinda did give this movie a six out of ten, but now I just I think it's better to give it like a seven out of ten. Well, it's still a weak but top you know what's funny that Um The first Spider Man was really good. The second one was was really all the one, two, three Spider Man, they all get ten out of ten and even Tom Holland Spider-Man gets a 10 out of 10, but this one just gets a 7 out of 10. It's weak. This movie just, it's weak. This is a weak Spider-Man. But I will do a review on the second movie. I don't hate the second movie. It's, at least it's not weak as this movie. I can say it, it's that. It's not as weak as this movie. Bye, guys.